Hey there, this is Mary and Sean from Vindulge, and today we're doing some sugar-free smoked ribs. Yes, my friends, that means both the dry rub and the sauce have zero added sugar. And they're so good, you're not even gonna miss the sweet stuff. Mary kind of threw a challenge down over the weekend where she's like, you know what? And I'm like, what? And she's like, I got an idea for what to cook. <laughs> and I'm like, a whole hog? And she's like, no, Sean, we're gonna do ribs without sugar. And I'm like, ribs without sh sugar? Yeah, and we're gonna do a sauce that doesn't have any additive sugar either. I'm like, what? What does it even mean? And then she enlightened me to the thing called paleo and keto and all these different diets that people aren't adding sugar. And I'm like, where have I been? So That's right, my friends. This is a keto-friendly recipe, paleo-friendly recipe. The only thing that this isn't friendly to is if you happen to have a pork allergy. Like you mean our, like our kid? Yes. Wow. So uh, come join us as we uh, figure out this come challenge. Come join us. Come join us. Grab some wine first, though. <laughs> oh yeah, don't forget the wine. All right, we're starting with spare ribs, uh, cut into a St. Louis style. And uh, really that means that you're gonna get the whole spare and make sure you cut off uh, the rib tips so you have an even rack or let the butcher do it for you. We're gonna trim some of that fat off. So this is the extra stringy fat that you really don't want on there. Um, helps create a more even cook. Uh, and you wanna expose a, as much of that meat as possible. Uh, so we're just trimming that off and you can see it's kind of like not good looking fat. Uh, so take a look at that and then flip it over. Uh, as you flip it over, uh, depending on where you're from, you may have some of this excess meat along the edges, so you want to trim that off. Uh, I like it for scraps and uh, cooking on the side, which is delicious. Um, and then it helps create that even cook. Next, we're going to start by removing the membrane. Uh, not everybody does this, but I do. I want to. I want to make sure it's not on there. It creates a papery texture, and I don't like that. Just grab a paper towel and pull it off. Use a sharp knife to help kind of like work the edges uh, and you can feel it and you'll see how rubbery and, and when that cooks out it ends up like paper. That's your basic rib trimming. So just kind of working it on the second rack. Uh, and then we're gonna move to uh, flavoring. Now it's time to flavor the meat. For this we're gonna apply some mustard and then our sugar-free dry rub. We're using regular yellow mustard today, and note that Dijon mustard often contains added sugar, so that's why we're sticking to yellow mustard. Uh, we wanna make sure we dab a little bit on there and use your hands, because uh, this is what's gonna make the dry rub stick. Next, we're gonna apply our sugar-free rub. That's a mix of savory and sweet. We've got rosemary in there, kosher salt, fresh ground pepper, smoked paprika, and a lot more. Go to the blog and check it out, and we want to apply this liberally. Why? Because as this cooks, it essentially sweats, so we, we don't want to lose some of that flavor of the dry rub, uh, and some of that will come off. So we're really being liberal and letting that sit uh, with enough time, like even up to 24 hours with that dry rub. Pat it all down and make sure that really gets into the meat. Then we're going to flip and repeat. Mustard, and then more dry rub. And roughly we're going to use about a third of a cup per rib. Keep patting that down and get it ready to cook. Now you're ready to place these ribs uh, in the fridge for a few hours or overnight, and then get them ready to put in the smoker. And now these are looking awesome. So we're gonna put them on the smoker at about 250 degrees Fahrenheit using apple wood. We live in the Northwest and we like apple. Uh, after about the two hour mark, we're gonna start adding some spritz to it. The spritz, my friends, is where you get the kids involved. So teach them young, get your pit master to go. And our spritz, by the way, is 100% apple cider vinegar, adding a little more sweetness. And we're just gonna spray it every 15 minutes or so until it's time to wrap. You know it's time to wrap when you start seeing the meat pull back from the bone. That's the tell. That's when you know you're gonna start putting them away. Hey, it's Mary here, and I'm gonna take over from here because we're a team. This is real time, folks. No, really, Sean had to actually go run some errands, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up these bad boys. So right now, we are on the wrapping phase, and we're gonna wrap these with some butter and some liquid, about two tablespoons per rib, and then the rest of that liquid from the spritz. Or if you want, you can actually add your barbecue sauce at this time instead of the spritz. But we're just gonna go ahead and wait until the last step to add the sauce this time. Wrap them up and put them back on the smoker, and do this with both racks. And you're gonna leave them on the smoker about two more hours. Next, 
you're going to remove the foil and start applying your no sugar added barbecue sauce. This sauce is amazing and it contains no added sugar unlike most store-bought barbecue sauces. Any sweetness there is there naturally. For the full recipe for the no sugar added barbecue sauce, you can find that on the website along with ways to adapt it and alter it to whatever dietary preferences you follow. And you can also just tear off some of that excess foil. You really don't need to remove the whole thing if you don't want to. Let those ribs cook for about one more hour, unfoiled, and then you're ready to pull them off. I think, I think he's ready with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello there. Hey. Welcome back. Got Thank some ribs you. for us? I got ribs. Let's do this. All right. Let me get the racks out here. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. Oh. You know they make gloves for that kind of stuff. I know, I know, I know. Here we go, two racks of ribs. Right, looking good. Oh yeah, I see the bone coming out. You see how it's kind of retracted a little bit. Ooh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Now, we're gonna cut. I like to cut along the bone here to get a nice clean break. Ooh. You got some mad skills there. Mm, mm, mm. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just has to be good enough to get my belly. Oh yeah. All right. So I got some juiciness coming out of that. Oh yeah, those See are the nice All right. Now for the taste test. I'm gonna mm. grab this one. Mm. Oh, you want your own, huh? Yeah. Mm. Got that smoke ring right there. Nice. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just a little bit of that sauce, not too much. Wow. I think we got a winner. I agree. Thanks yeah. for watching. Mm -hmm. We'll see you next time. Bye. All right, oh, here we go. My phone's vibrating in my butt. <laughs> That's awkward. <laughs> awkward. So. <laughs> And then sometimes you have your dog whining. And then sometimes in the, background. the dog's whining in the background. So. Cheers. Oh, wine. Yeah. We also pair this with wine. Make it rain. <laughs> I think you can hear our kids in the background. Probably. Yeah. Well, hello there, little lady. Top of the morning to ya. Wait a minute.